Good morning if you're watching on Peacock. Thank you, our streaming partner. By the way, Peacock is going to have another NFL game coming up. It was just announced that that first weekend, that Friday game will be in Brazil. So you're going to have Thursday and then Friday, and then you'll have Sunday games and then a Sunday night game. And then Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody but Adam Silver in the NBA because you're going to have a couple of NFL games on a Wednesday on Christmas Day. You imagine the commissioner of the NBA. He's already dealing with this nonsense with uh, Jonte Porter in Toronto and betting on his under over stats. And the NFL comes out with a hammer. Hey, uh, you guys usually have Christmas Day. The NBA owns Christmas Day. No, I don't think so. Not anymore. So much so, Christmas on a Wednesday, we're going to put not one but two NFL games. There are going to be teams playing three games in 13 days. The NFL likes to tell us that they're all about player safety, but they're a business. And the players understand this as well. But three games, 13 days, I think that's above and beyond the call of duty. Not exactly a, let me put this in your stocking there, guys. And we're going to go to 18 games. The question is not if, but when. But the NFL making news, as they always do, it doesn't matter. Whenever they want to, they can knock anybody out of the headlines. Uh, It's like Shohei Otani. Yeah, why don't you take, why don't you sit down for a little while? The uh, women's tournament, uh, men's tournament. Yeah, hold off. Let, Let the big boys come in. We got some news here. They changed the kickoff, which I like because if you said I can have something that's a little gimmicky, but still has a return attached to it and some excitement, that's better than a touchback. And I know that you get the purist who go, oh, I don't even recognize football anymore. Well, uh, try. Be, because you know what they're doing? They're trying new things. I, I, I probably have people going, can you believe they're going to let them wear a face mask? I mean, what are they thinking? You know, 1955, come on. It's not the way we did it. But the NFL is trying new things. That's why they have these developmental leagues. So they can try new things, camera angles, Uh, you know, certain plays that you can do. I think they're still going to try to do something to modify the punt return because, once again, the collisions, the number of injuries. Now, the most violent play is still the kickoff. They're going to try to cut back on that with the amount of speed you can build up running into people. But at least it's better than having a touchback. But I did find some people on social media that they were appalled that this is what the NFL is doing. Okay. You going to still watch? Yeah, I thought you would. Or you get this. Oh, the NFL, come on. Two games on Christmas Day? That's too much. You going to watch? Yeah, but, you know, I feel bad for the NBA. Okay, you can flip around. It's survival the fittest. That's what this is. The NFL has taken over the world. Hey, we're going to put a game in Brazil, uh, one in Germany. We're going to put a couple in London. I mean, this is, and I don't think they're looking at expansion. I think what they're looking at, if if I'm the owner of a team, let's say I'm the Eagles. Well, we want to have a country that is ours. We want to own Germany or, you know, Kansas City Chiefs, I think, want to own Germany Uh, or the, you know, the, uh, let's see, the Steelers in Ireland are talking about that. Uh, New England Patriots, they, I think we're talking about, could they own Germany? That's what you want. And now if you're the Eagles, hey, we want to own Brazil. Okay. You get those fan bases there. They buy your merchandise. You're the official team of that country. Yeah, Paul. Or yes, Seaton. And that gives uh, what you just said right there gives a new, uh, like sheds new light on the idea that the Patriots game earlier last season in Germany was their Super Bowl. Yes, like, this is the biggest game, and we were all kind of like, what are you talking about? This is the dumbest thing I ever heard. Why is this game so important? I don't know. Maybe that's why. Yeah, that you want to own that country. You want to go in there and be the official team, and you're building a fan base. I, this isn't a case of, hey, are we going to have a team in London or a team in Scotland or Ireland or Germany or Brazil or Mexico City? I thought that for a long time, but I don't think that now. I think that you're just allowing these teams, if they want to give up a home game, that they will give it up, and in return, you can become the official team of that country. All right, 
Poll question, Seton. What are we going to go with? Yeah, we're going to stick with, uh, Is there? can there be uh, too much NFL? Okay. Can there be too much NFL? Your options are going to be some form of not in a million years or <laughs> definitely. All right. Um, is there too much? Can there be, not is there. Uh, can there Very be. big difference to okay. me. Okay, all right. Can there be. All right. Also, I saw this with uh, The Athletic's Andrew Marshawn. He covers uh, sports TV. Says that ESPN is aggressively pursuing Jason Kelsey. Monday Night Football, Monday Night Countdown. And it looks like he would replace Robert Griffin III. And Larry Fitzgerald might be out as well. I think their contract's expired. And uh, so you still have Van Pelt there, Marcus Spears, Ryan Clark. But Kelsey, it's going to be a lot of people trying to get uh, Kelsey in there. NBC, CBS, uh, Amazon, they've all expressed interest in him. And uh, here's the thing. That that he's Philadelphia-based, and Andrew Marshawn points this out. If I'm Philadelphia-based, where do I want to go? NBC is in Connecticut, and CBS is in New York City. Just being able to take the train up, Amtrak up, I think that would be a big selling point. And uh, trying to make this as uh, family-friendly as possible. The CBS uh, pregame show, Nate Burleson, Bill Cowher, Boomer Esiason, Phil Simms, I think they're all unsigned. They have J.J. Watt, so he'll be there. I mean, they need to get younger. Uh, James Brown is still there, but you know, do you keep Phil Simms? Uh, you'll keep Nate Burleson. Is Bill Belichick going to be in the mix? I don't know. You know, it's it's one of those. Does he get into TV for one year to prove that he is a personality? And boy, somebody's going to want to hire him. After watching the Patriots documentary, uh, he did, doesn't come off well. And I was asked about this, uh, a friend in the NFL. He goes, uh, do you think that was a hit piece on Bill Belichick? I said, well, Robert Kraft is the one who is kind of producing this. And Robert Kraft looked really good in that documentary. Bill Belichick did not. So that's no surprise there. But I don't know if Bill cares about any of that stuff. And how good would he be when you have... If you do a game, you got to be able to speak in sound bites. you got to be able to get in, get out. Quick, make your point. And I don't know if Bill is interested in doing that. Now, studio, I can sort of set him up to succeed. And I know there have been people who've worked with him. Uh, Chris Collinsworth, Rich Eisen have said, boy, he's really good when he wants to be. All right, you're going to have him in studio. Is he going to be interested in that? How much, you know, is he excited to do this? Uh, You know, does he blend in with everybody else? Does it become part of a team or is it the team and then you got Belichick there? I'd I'd be curious if he wants to do that. I wondered if he is, if he's going to coach again in the NFL. And right now I have my doubts, but I don't know if he wants to go into TV. Wouldn't it be interesting if Belichick and Brady are both in TV? Now, Tom's going to be calling games, but I don't think Bill's going to call games. But if you have him in the studio, okay. I mean, I'd be curious. You know, I'd do a drive-by and say, all right, let me see what he has to say. And I don't even know the importance of the pregame shows anymore. It just feels like there's so much football and they telling you anything that you don't know. Fox was must-see TV. You know, that pregame show was awesome. Personalities there. It was fun. It was sort of TNT before TNT, that you had big personalities on there, and it became more uh, more than just a pregame show. 